Hi everyone, myself Sriya Deepak Gar, and I welcome you all to the part two of the financial function series, where we are going to learn about the calculation of AMI and loan tenure in case of a moratorium period. In this session, we are going to learn about the application of financial functions, which we discussed in part one. So, in case you have missed watching part one, I would recommend you to watch it before watching this video, so that you can have a better understanding of the application of financial functions. The link is given in the description below. Now, as you can see on my screen, we have already discussed the above nine topics in the previous video. In this video, we are going to discuss topic number ten, which is how to calculate AMI with moratorium period. So, let's start with the exercise. So, let us first understand what is the meaning of moratorium period. So moratorium period refers to the period of time during which you do not have to pay an EMI on the loan taker. However, interest is levied on the outstanding amount. So let us understand this in detail. Let's discuss concept number one. The concept number one says that moratorium period is in the beginning of the loan tenure. Like for example, when a loan liya hai, this ka tenure hai up to 36 months. But mujhe moratorium period mil hai for first three months. That is. No EMI will be paid till the end of third month. And my EMI will start from the beginning of fourth month. That is, EMI will be paid for the remaining 33 months. That is from fourth month to 36 months. Now let's take a practical example. Now in this case, I've taken a loan of 10 lakh rupees. Moratorium period is three months. That is in the beginning of loan tenure. Interest rate is 8% per annum. Tenure of the loan is 36 months. That is three years. Now I want to find out the value of the loan after three months of moratorium period. For that, we will use the formula future value, that is FP. It is asking me to input rate. I will select 8% divided by 12. It is asking me to input number of period. It will be 3, comma. It is asking me to input the amount of installment per, on per month basis. Since in this case, I'm not giving any installments on a recurring basis. So I will input zero, comma. It is asking me to input present value. It will be minus 10 lakhs. I'll close the bracket and press enter. Here you can see the value of 10 lakh will become 10 lakh 20,000 after three months of moratorium period. Now I want to calculate the value of EMI. So for this, I will use the formula is equal to PMT. It is asking me to input rate. Rate will be 8% divided by 12. It is asking me to input number of period. The number of period will not be 36 months. It will be 36 minus 3. That is 36 minus 3 will become 33 months. Comma. Present value will be minus 10 lakh 20,000. Comma. There is no future value in this case. So I will input 0. Comma. Now it is asking me to input 0 or 1. Since this is a case of repayment, I will always choose 0. I'll close the bracket and press enter. Now you will see from 4th month onwards till the end of 36th month, I will have to make the payment of 34,541 as the EMI payment. Now we can also verify these figures with the help of EMI schedule. As you can see here, the loan amount was 10 lakh rupees. Interest levied is 8% on 10 lakh on a monthly basis. Repayment for the first three months will be nil. Closing balance would be loan amount plus interest minus repayment. Now you can see at the end of month three, the amount which is getting accumulated here is 10 lakh 20,000. This can also be verified with the amount here which we derived using the formula FV. Now from Fourth month onwards, you will see the opening balance will be 10 lakh 20,000. Interest levied will be 8% on a monthly basis. And repayment of EMI, which I have taken from here, will be 34,541. This will remain same throughout the remaining period, that is for 33 months. And now when I come directly on the 36th month, you will see the outstanding balance will become zero. So hence, we can say that whatever values we have derived using the Excel formulas, are correct. Then let's move on to concept number two. In this case, we will learn how to calculate EMI where moratorium period is in between the loan tenure. 
लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल अगर मैंने एक लोन लिया है थर्टी सिक्स मंथ के लिए जिसमें मैं ओरिजिनल ई एम आई पे कर रहा था टिल दी एंड ऑफ फिफ्टीन मंथ लेकिन मैंने फिफ्टीन मंथ के एंड पे मोरटोरियम पीरियड की फैसिलिटी अवेल कर ली जिसमें मैंने फॉर द नेक्स्ट थ्री मंथ मैंने कोई ई एम आई पे नहीं करी बट जो मेरा आउटस्टैंडिंग अमाउंट था एट दी एंड ऑफ फिफ्टीन मंथ उस पर इंटरेस्ट अक्रूड होते जा रहा था and from 18th month onwards i will have two options the first option will be agar mujhe apna loan tenure same rakhna hai then i will have to increase the emi the second option is agar mujhe apna emi change nahi karna hai then my loan tenure will get increased let's discuss this in detail with the help of an example so this is case number 1 where i will increase the emi but my loan tenure will remain the same so for example i've taken a loan of 10 lakh rupees moratorium period will start at the end of 15th month moratorium period will be for 3 months interest is 8% and my total loan tenure initially was for 36 months now i need to calculate what was my current emi that is till the end of 15th month so i will use the formula pmt the rate will be 8% divided by 12 number of periods would be 36 present value would be minus 10 lakh rupees there is no future value i'll write zero here because this is a case of repayment so you can see current emi will be 31336 now we need to calculate the value of this loan at the end of 15th month that is jitni maine abhi tak emi pay kar di hai uske baad mera jo total outstanding loan hai at the end of 15th month uski value kya hai so for that we will use the formula fp here it is asking me to input rate divided by 12 number of period would be 15 comma amount of installment on a monthly basis will be 31336 comma present value would be minus 10 lakhs comma i will select zero close the bracket i will get the value as 6 lakh 12000 it means jo mera loan initially tha 10 lakh rupees ka wo after 15 months of emi payment Will become six lakh twelve thousand. Now I need to calculate the value of this loan after three months of moratorium period. That is, sixteenth to eighteenth month. Me, jin months me, I am not paying any kara. So eighteenth month ke end pe is loan ki kya value hogi? So for this, I will again use the formula future value. The rate will be eight percent divided by twelve. Number of period will be three months. Because itna mera moratorium period hai. Amount of investment on a monthly basis will be zero. Present value will become six lakh twelve thousand and not ten lakh rupees. Because I am eighteenth month ke end pe kada hoga bhi. Comma. I will say it in the beginning of the period. Close the bracket and press enter. Now it means fifteenth month ke end pe jo loan ki value thi wo six lakh twelve thousand thi. For the next three months, jisme maine E M I pay nahi kari and interest levai ho hota gaya us pe, then that value has become six lakh twenty four thousand. and now i need to calculate the revised emi for the remaining period of the loan tenure for that i will use the formula pmt the rate will be 8% divided by 12 number of periods would be total loan tenure minus the number of months for which i have already paid the emi that is 15 minus the moratorium period comma present value would become 6.24 comma there is no future value in this case so i'll input zero comma now since this is a case of repayment so i will select zero and close the bracket now we can also verify this with the help of emi schedule as you can see day 1 pe jo mera loan amount tha wo 10 lakh rupees tha us pe monthly at the rate of 8% interest ke basis pe ye interest charge ho raha tha and repayment jo maine next 15 months ke liye kari thi wo 31336 maine ye amount yahan se input kiya jo maine formula se derive ki thi Now you will see at the end of fifteenth month, my outstanding amount will become six point one two lakhs. We can also verify this amount, which we have derived using this formula. Now from sixteenth month to eighteenth month, my EMI will become zero because I have paid moratorium facility avail kariye. And at the end of eighteenth month, my outstanding amount will become six point two four lakhs. This value also we can verify from this. Cell which we derived using the formula of FV. Now from 18 month onwards, my EMI is 36933. As you can see in this table as well. 
19 मंथ के एंड से हमने 36933 की इंस्टॉलमेंट पे करना स्टार्ट किया एंड इफ आई गो डायरेक्टली ऑन द 36 मंथ द आउटस्टैंडिंग अमाउंट विल बिकम जीरो लेट्स गो टू नेक्स्ट केस नाउ दिस इज द केस वेयर आई विल इंक्रीज द लोन टेन्योर बट माय ईएमआई विल रिमेन द सेम सो दिस एग्जांपल इज एग्जैक्टली सेम व्हिच वी डिस्कस इन द प्रीवियस एक्सरसाइज वेयर माय लोन अमाउंट इज 10 लाख रुपीस मोरेटोरियम पीरियड विल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द एंड ऑफ 15th मंथ Moratorium period is for three months. Rate of interest is eight percent per annum, and tenure of the loan is thirty-six months. So for calculation of current EMI, we will use the formula PMT divided by twelve. Number of period is thirty-six. Present value is minus ten. So current EMI is thirty-one thousand three three six. Now once I avail the moratorium period, so I would like to know what is the value of total amount outstanding at the end of 15th month so i will use the formula future value here the rate would be 8% divided by 12 number of periods would be 15 amount of installment would be 31336 present value will be minus 10 lakhs and i will choose at the end of the period i close the bracket and as you can see the amount is 612177 now the value of loan at the end of 18th month for this we will again use the future value formula rate would be 8% divided by 12 number of period would be 3 months amount of installment on a monthly basis would be zero present value would be 6.12 lakhs since we need to find the future value at the end of 18th month we'll use in the beginning of the period so i'll select one i'll close the bracket so this will be the value of the total amount outstanding at the end of 18th month now in this case i need to find the revised tenure like in the previous example my tenure was same that is 36 months but my emi got increased but in this case my emi will remain the same but my tenure will get increased so So we will use the formula NPER. Rate will be eight percent divided by twelve. Amount of installment on a monthly basis would be thirty one thousand three three six. As will will remain the same post moratorium period as well. Present value will be six point two four lakhs. There is no future value in this case, and I will choose zero because we will make the payment at the end of the period. I'll press enter. now you can see that the revised loan tenure post moratorium period will be 21.45 months so in, in case we need to calculate the total revised loan tenure then it will be 15 months plus 3 months of moratorium plus additional 21.45 months so it means jo maine loan liya tha day 1 pe of 10 lakh rupees wo 36 months mein repay ho jata agar main moratorium period avail nahi karta but since when a moratorium period avail kara in between the loan tenure for 3 months then the entire loan tenure will get repaid at the end of 39.45 months this can also be verified with the help of this emi schedule as you can see here mera loan amount tha 10 lakh rupees this pe maine initially emi payment ki thi up to 15 months of 31336 closing amount at the end of 15 month is 6.12 lakhs the same is here which you derived using the formula now for the next 3 months i did not make any payment so the outstanding amount at the end of 18th month is 6.24 this this can be verified from this cell and post 18th month the emi amount still remained the same till the end of 40th month so as you can see the this entire amount will get repaid in between 39 and 40th month which will fall at around 39.45 so these are the few examples in which you can use financial functions to calculate emi in case of a moratorium period well that's it from my side thank you